Oh shit. What's up guys? Dumbzo Janito back at it again. Fucking part number three. Pretty close to the end, guys. And as soon as I saw that shit crash, I said, fuck this. I need to uh I need to stop the stream. Not stop the stream, but as soon as I seen it crash, I said, Well, my AirPods are dying and now I went to go pee. So I peed and I'm switching over to my headset because the AirPods are dead. I didn't even wear the helmet too much. Fuck that. So <clears throat> let's get back into this bitch. Okay. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's fucking do this. Oh shit. God damn, my headset's a lot louder. Love guys. Fuck, okay. Let's do this. Buddy, of course. Physics. You can't beat phys physics. But what's down there anyways? Water? Yeah. I can see how that how you have to pull that red wire, but I, I'm kind of stuck as whenever um like how exactly I'm gonna grab it. There's a TV over there. Oh wait, I should save the TV. Yeah, all right.
Okay, yeah, here we go. It's not working out. Yeah, I'm fucking stuck. Unless I was supposed to fucking blow the TV out. Oh wait, hold up. <laughs> what if I pull this? Be here. Oh. Okay, I think I got a new plan. What if I turn it on the TV and then jump and jump and jump? Yeah, that works. I don't know if I can make that jump though. What if... All right, strain yourself out, genius.
right? Oh, you fucking genius. And then you jump over here, but I need the light. All right, I got it. But then how the fuck am I gonna... Okay, we'll figure it out. Fuck. Pay attention. Fuck yes. All right. And now now we're fucking talking. Just don't fuck it up. Figure something out first. It's in here. said it was easy. Fucking bastard. Yes. Dude, he keeps breaking them now. What the fuck? Stop breaking the stupid TVs. That's money. <laughs> Dude. 
fuck that. I'm not. I'm still gonna go all gas, no brakes. I don't give a shit. Next time, just wait. This guy's human too, he can't fucking always see or know where I'm at, so. Now he found me. Give me time. God damn, he got me. So close. We're good. Fuck. Fuck, dude, the fact that he does little, like, weird glitches and shit like that, dude, it's annoying. And then he slows me down, like, hard as hell. Well, this is probably his chase, so we're good. I'm assuming anything after this is probably gonna be the end of this chapter. I'm gonna probably kill him now. I just flip them off. They're like this <laughs> bitch. <sighs> oh, that does that's not good. Wake up, motherfucker. It's 
my boy. Watch, and it's gonna be the fucking dude. Where's it leading me to? Epic. There he is. Damn, he took off his cap. He's not a cop anymore. So anything from from here anything goes ready to strap in and strap the fuck on let's do this shit hell yeah they're not the only one motherfucker where's my helmet i would wear my helmet right now but i don't have my airpods Did I die? Well, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. SpaceX Dogecoin Where's your hat? Put back put your fucking cop hat back on. One more baby. One fucking more. Unless this is it.
That's some freaky shit. He's a part of the puzzle, huh? This is a puzzle. Yeah. Well, that's the only one there. But I think essentially what I'm picking up from my headphones is the ones that, that's playing that, that song. Yo, that music box is creepy as fuck, though. There we go. That shit's bad, though. I didn't miss the last part. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually um I'm not gonna lie, I mean I don't know if it's if it's because I'm a psychopath, but the music box is low-key kind of um it's soothing. Like whenever I lose it, I just like I'm like fuck, alright, where's it at? And then whenever I hear it, it's just it's, it's I don't know, it's it's very soothing. Okay, so I go in here. I lost it. Oh, pfft. okay. I completely forgot. I'm over here trying to run through them and just try to find the music box. I got sidetracked, but. Okay. There we go. Fuck yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's him. What the fuck did they do to him? What the fuck? Is there anything I'm supposed to do? Oh, you don't want to give it to me. Oh. 
Oh, he killed me. scared me <laughs> just a little bit but fuck that was pretty cool i like that i like i like that whole part how, what, how did i have the feeling that the final boss was gonna be my fucking friend and i'm gonna have to kill him huh shit You didn't even hit me. Damn it. So fucking close. to hit the button to uh to hold on to this thing to hide. I'm fucking dumbass. <laughs> hates him now so he lost all of his trust I don't think it was supposed to be that way I think I was supposed to do that there run back teleport right there and then come back and then hit it but uh, who cares What am I supposed to do? That's the cutscene. Yeah, 
Yeah, now he for sure doesn't trust me. He's fucking, he's pretty pissed. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's not gonna work though, cause I... It's as close as that axe is gonna fucking get, but I really need to play this shit smart. I got it. I think I got it. I just need to transport the fucking axe up there. Come back, do it all over again, and then pick up the axe and then hit it, whack the thing with it, but. It's about being quick, guys. myself god damn it
Alright. This is it, huh? This is it. One last hit, baby. Come on. Did I free him or did I kill him? I freed him, he's there! Fuck yeah. Come on, we gotta get out of here, buddy. Don't follow him there.
Now what? Is it over? Or do I have to do it all over again? to be it. <sighs> Five hours, guys. Five fucking hours. So is him as an adult now or what? Teenager, now he's an adult. Definitely showing him growing throughout the ages. The colors changed. Oh, so he grew up to be the guy, huh? And that's where it turned, and that's why it turned blue. I fucking told you. I'm a damn genius. <clears throat> so is that where it all began was him being a kid going through all this shit and then uh getting betrayed by his friend because he betrayed him and then he grew up, uh, and he had a lot of fucking... He was ashamed of himself, etc, etc. He had a lot of remorse in himself. And he turned evil. Hmm. That's my takeaway from it. But where does the kid play the, the like in all this? Like, what was did the kid play significance in him uh, tying back to like his past? Does, does that make sense? I, I mean, I don't know. Or is this all personal now? Because he was a kid, found that other kid, got his trust. They blasted through all this shit. He developed these powers and then found him, broke the fucking box. When he broke the box. Now the other kid was mad at him, and then when that's why he didn't pick him up to save him, he let him draw, he let him drop, and he died because he basically betrayed him, and then he turned into that shit. So he started off pink, ended up blue, and that's why the whole thing is fucking blue. That's what I think. But holy fuck, was this a good fucking game? Again, shout out to my boy Professor. Uh, also, this is a prequel to the first one. At least that's what most people say. But the big old guy isn't isn't in the first one though. But I mean it would make sense.
But it doesn't give any true significance to who that lady was in the first one. Unless there's a piece unless there's a piece that I'm missing. Yeah, I don't I have no fucking idea. All I know is this game was a good game. Again, shout out to my boy Professor Xavier. The other one, the other game that I played, the first one, I was I'm pretty drunk for it, so. Um it was very hard to critically observe the whole game as a whole. I just was playing it, but playing this game from a sober mind, you can definitely definitely take that take that away, especially from the last uh, chapter. It's just crazy how in chapter four he killed himself, and then in the last chapter he killed his friend. But fuck, dude. Yeah, I mean that shit. That was a good fucking game. Um. I don't got too much words for this game, but holy fuck, man. That's all I can say. It, it was a good game. Some games, games like these, I honestly really appreciate because it gives you... It kind of, like... It starts off with, like, a kind of a re reality perspective, and then it ends with, the, like, this weird supernatural thing with colors and going to different um, realms and all this crazy shit. Like, I don't know. People who will play this shit high, I'll tell you, trip the, will trip the fuck out playing this. There's, um... I remember there's an anime that one of my friends uh, told me to watch, and I did watch it. It was a three-part anime. I just forgot the name of it. It was like the main character was like this crazy warrior guy, and then like the the antagonist was like some long blonde-haired guy. I don't I, like I'm I don't remember the name of it. I've seen it, but it was it's just like this. Like it starts off with reality, and it has like a very good storyline, and it makes sense until the very end. Whenever you get to the end, it makes absolutely no sense. But it makes perfect sense at the same time, just like this fucking game. So, dude, salutes to whoever the fuck made this shit. People who can make games like this, man. It's not. It's not only like graphics, the storyline, the um, the game mechanics. It's like it's the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's a bunch of story stuff in the other side games and media's, but even I don't know all the details. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like, this game does have a lot of, um, um, DLCs. I don't think, and I don't, I don't really want to play the DLCs. I just wanted to get the main story. But yeah, guys, this is a, a very great, you talking about birds? Yes! Yes! That's the fucking movie I was talking about. I don't know how the, you've probably seen it yourself, but yeah. Now that I remember, that's the fucking movie. Yeah, that, that, that three part, uh, trilogy movie was just something else. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, so it's a it's a three part um, trilogy movie. Fucking that movie is really good. It starts off very like I'm talking. Starts off. I, I don't want to give any spoilers on it or anything, but it's it's kind of like this game. Starts off very straightforward and it makes sense but then when it gets to the end it's just like it's just a complete mind fuck is all and there's not a lot of movies out there that are, are that are like that not a lot of games that are like this so the people like if you can find these games fucking play them and cherish them because dude the experience that you get from these games from like a blind perspective i don't know it, it makes you think wonders and it makes you after after leaving uh after i guess when i walk away from playing this game i'm gonna be looking at life in a completely different way i don't know this shit just makes you think differently and then whenever you get back to your nine to five and do whatever you get you, you gotta do i mean you completely forget about it but dude like in the instant moment these types of games are kind of crazy to me um but yeah guys i don't have much more to talk about on this game um again shout out to professor xavier for for these recommendations i hope everyone's having a great halloween um be safe out there don't eat too many candies make sure you you are eating candies and yeah just be safe um but moving forward yes vlog's gonna come still working on it uh bully i'm probably gonna start tomorrow or someday if i even want to start it maybe i just want to focus on the vlog i don't know yet but just know that the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition, I'm gonna start with San Andreas because I know that's the one that people wanna see. I'm gonna start with that one. Um, and then from there, we'll, we'll work our way on, but that shit's set in stone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna knock that shit out. 
Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I, I don't got anything else to say. Again, shout out to Professor Xavier. I appreciate you, man. But until then, everyone, Dumzo Danino, have a great Halloween. Finally finish these uh, Little Nightmare games. If there's a third one, I'm willing to fucking play that shit. I don't know if I'm going to play it on a one, one sit through because it's pretty brutal, hungry. I pissed. Um, tired. I'm hot, sweaty now. But yeah, guys, I will catch you guys on the next one. Again, shout out to my brother, Professor Xavier. See you soon, my buddy. Till then, everybody, you guys have a great night. Check me out on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube, check me out on Twitch. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, everybody.